All right there guys and welcome to the Tins and Chins podcast. There's three of us here, we're doing it in person and we've got sexy minds. This man nearly forgot about it and this man's prepared a quiz. And this man forgot the camera was, wasn't rolling. Yes, uh, it's like technical issues that you probably will never see. Uh, but I, uh, <laughs> my name's Kyle. Forgot about that bit nearly. And my name's Kieran. I'm hungry. It's raining, and I'm no, and I'm, no, I'm I'm no steaming. <laughs> right, I'll leave that nicely there. So we've got all the cameras set up. We're all ready. We get the big camera pointing at us. Thank you. You get your Amy special camera. And you're the quiz master. Cool. Right, focus to it. So, uh, big fat quiz of the year. Don't fucking do that. Every single question is based on the year, apart from we've got a wee general um, a special subject, so you've both picked a special subject beforehand. Oh, wow. Um, some questions are worth one point, some are two, but we'll specify your date um, on that uh, question. Some are questions, it's whoever's got the closest. Um, if you've both got the same answer and you are both wrong, nobody gets any points. Right. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'll exp- if there's different rules for different questions, I'll explain it. And if there's two points, I'll explain it as I'm going on. Hmm. Um, so we'll just get straight into it. Topic one is general knowledge. Question one. Who won the best actor at the 2023 Oscars? And by actor, I mean male. Who won best actor at the 2023 Oscars? I have no clue. He's a wee clue. It's a guy. <laughs> yeah, well, a uh, handy little camera woman behind can get the uh, can guess the answers as well. There'll be no cheating. Right. No cheating, man. I'm a book. He's both noted it down. Aye. Aye. Question two. At the start of the year, we had a very tragic event that uh, happened with a submarine. <laughs> Went to Titanic. Um, it eventually did get found after it imploded because and it was pieces? made of a uh, plasticine and some blue tack. You see the cat Cray- the controller they used? Aye, an old Logitech controller. The question is, how many days since it went missing did it take for them to find the body? Or not the body, the, at least part of the wreckage. How many days? And you're allowed within one, so if the answer's 30, I will allow uh, 29, 30 and 31. Okay. So obviously I know that because mm-hmm. he said it. Mm-hmm. Was try tricky? Oh, is that tricky? Question three. At the start of the year, or midway through the year, sorry, in March, very early on in the year, Gary Lineker was forced off of hosting match of the day for controversial oh, controversial sure. reasons. Why was he forced to step down from match of the day temporarily? So why was Gary Lineker Forced off his hosting duties for match of the day in March. This answer is quite vague, so I will accept anything as long as it. So I hate my answer vague. <laughs> Done something bad. <laughs> right, question four. In which city was the Eurovision contest hosted at this year? Oh. Which city was the Eurovision song contest hosted at this year? I don't watch. I know what it was. Uh, Eurovision. Never have. I never have too, but it was a big event. I, I know what it was. And I know Glasgow was in for it. Hey, I won't accept country. It I'm needs to be city. Oh, sorry. I'm not involved in it. I know where it is. Yeah. Where? Not <laughs> say. Right. NASA, unfortunately this year, declared that summer was the hottest on record. But what was the average global, he was their global, Temperature this summer in degrees Celsius. Oh, that's what I was going to ask. What was the um, average the, the average temperature in summer this year? But remember, that's global. And for this one, I will accept closest ones. That's fair. Closest ones. You put zero, I'll put one. <laughs> I've put it in Fahrenheit. <laughs> I won't accept Fahrenheit. Even if you're bang on, if it works out, <laughs> if, if you convert it, if it works out, I'm not accepting Fahrenheit. <laughs> Ready for the next one? Yep. All right. Uh, there was a very good documentary on Netflix this year about David Beckham. Mm-hmm. I don't know if he's watched it. It was very nope. interesting. But it did go viral, some of these bits. What car did Victoria Beckham yes. famously say her dad drove her to school in? 
She was common, but her dad drove her to school in this car. Oh, no. What was the name? What was the brand oh, of no. the car? I'm not asking for the what model. Just asking for the make. No, I think I've got that right. So if it was a Ford, I don't. If you say Fiesta, I'll know that I'll accept yeah. that. But as long as it's closely related to that answer. I'll spill that right, you know. I think I've got it right. We're ready? Right. Uh, am I right? Question seven. <clears throat> Which music artist shaved off his hair in November, causing the internet to lose I their mind? <laughs> I don't know that either. <laughs> could you, could, uh, uh, it was only last month. Is there any genres you can I can't. I genuinely can't. They're very big. They're very big. Which artist famously or infamously shaved off their hair in November causing the internet to lose its bonkers? Went mental. I think that's... I've... Um, can you give me a second to that one? Because it's it is, I think it's quite I've, easy that one. Yeah, I, I think I think I know who it is. I'm probably completely lying. Just check that you can you can't see my answer. No, I can't see it. <laughs> right, Kyle, I'm gonna give you three it's all right. two one. Um the but, king, he, but he's wrote something like George Michael. Uh, Michael Jackson. <laughs> um the King's coronation uh, was planned. This mm-hmm. year, what was the code name they used to plan it? Oh, oh I can't see what I want to say. You make a joke if you want. I oh, wouldn't. Yeah. But, but just remember, I work for His Majesty, and he likes His Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> King's coronation was planned using which secret code name? Was this is that a well-known code name? Too? Does everybody? Let me it was the front line of the papers. Oh, I don't read the papers. I'm pretty sure I made a joke about it at the time. When was it? I think it was in June. I think, don't quote me on that though. You don't know. Because it was before me and Zoe moved out. <laughs> Ryan's a lot of big answer and I'm going to bother to peak, right? Second, uh, last question in this uh, general knowledge. And the song, The Twelve Days of Christmas, what gift was given on the seventh day? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the famous Christmas song, Twelve Days of Christmas, what gift was given on the seventh day? Seventh. Awkward silence as they sing it I to think, Is it this? I, I can't remember. Love the fact that Ryan needs to keep unlocking his phone every time he wants to put an answer in. Because he's got like super ultra saving battery saving mode on. Okay, I'm giving you five seconds. Five, four, three. I need to unlock my bass phone. Two, two and a half, two, one, zero. You showed the wee pizza guy for you. <laughs> I have not. Right. I, I can only get to five. Yeah. <laughs> right, so the last question in general knowledge, and then after this I'll get you to, to reveal your answers for this topic. All right. Which artist born on January 10th, 1945 in London celebrated his 78th birthday this year? Which artist born on January 10th? <laughs> Rog- <laughs> <laughs> Which artist born on January 10th, 1945 in London, celebrated his 78th birthday this year? And I don't think so. Right, we both got all answers written down? Yep. yep. Right, so, question one. Who won Fucking Best Actor right, at, Who won Best Actor at the 2023 Oscars? Ryan, what was your answer? I went Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. Kyle? Fucking loves me. None of these are right. It was Brendan Fraser. Oh, shit. <laughs> so it was. He won oh, it in the, the, the wheel. The <sighs> He's been nominated, but he hasn't oh won God. any. I went fucking because he was so loud. Kyle's probably was the better answer at the two. I just remember him slapping his face Aye. and then they were applauding So him. it's no points each That's for that one. Pardon. Question two. How many days did it take the rescue team to find the Ocean Gate submarine? Ryan? 32. 16. 
Uh, I will, none of these will get any points for that, and none of these were in the one point barrier. It took them four days. <gasps> I got 32 days. Did you? <laughs> because I think you remember it was on day four that the oxygen ran out. They ran a couple hours later after that, they found them. Oh, but shit. they didn't need any oxygen because they died. Ah. <laughs> Right, this one's a little bit vague. So, uh, why was Gary Lineker forced off his hosting duties for match of the day? Ryan. Sonny tweeted. I'll accept that. Yes, one point for Ryan. Kyle? Said stuff about female refs. That is incorrect. No, he did uh, tweet, but it was about someone. Uh, he compared the government's regulation on oh. immigration to the Holocaust. Oh, I thought it was about football. Right. Obviously, no. I'll take the point for that. The official answer, he was in an impartial row with BBC over his Twitter after he criticised the language used in the government asylum policy. I wouldn't even know how he... So it's 1-0 to Ryan. Tweet. Question Fact. four. What city hosted the Eurovision Song Contest this year, Ryan? Liverpool. Kyle? Liverpool. Both are correct. That was, was last high. year. Was it, high? was it not meant to be? Mm. It right. was meant to be in U- Ukraine won and they couldn't host it there, so it came between Glasgow and Liverpool. Aye. This yeah. one is the closest answer wins, so one of you is getting a point here. NASA declared summer this this summer the hottest on record, but what was the average global temperature, Ryan? Thirty eight degrees. Thirty eight. Thirty one. Okay, what's the point? It was sixteen point seven seven. You were thinking about it being hot. Most of the countries in the world are cold. Celsius. 90 Fucking degrees hell, Celsius. You're ready to boil. We're not going to survive. That's 10 degrees of boiling point. <laughs> Fucking sweating. <laughs> you don't need the heat on the house in the winter. Uh, question six. What car did Victoria Beckham's dad use to drop her off at school? It was revealed in the David Beckham documentary. Ryan? So Bentley. Kyle? Bentley. Incorrect. No, Rolls Royce. Rolls-Royce. It was a Rolls Royce. Oh, that's what I wrote first and fucking rubbed it. That's how I went off up. All right. Which music artist shaved off his hair in November, causing the internet to lose their mind? Ryan. Was this Harry Styles that done this? Kyle. Elton John, but <laughs> he has no hair because he's bald, so I don't know. <laughs> well, one of you has got a point, and it's Kyle Ken on it's Ryan. <laughs> Elton John. It's close, it's 3 2. Fucking asking me questions that right. The King's coronation was planned using which secret code name? I said Charles in charge over days and our nights. Charles in charge. <laughs> That is correct. <laughs> Kyle? Apricot. No, it was Operation Golden Orb. Oh. I mean, I oh, Apricot is gold. I don't know. <laughs> Rest in peace, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> and this and this Christmas song, 12 Days of Christmas, what gift was given on the seventh day? Was it seven hens a clock? Kyle? Partridge. No, it was seven swans a swimming. Partridge. Partridge in a pear tree. That's no. Oh, <laughs> right, but I don't know that. So uh, I, just I mean, at least I got a bot. So right. And by far the most, the most difficult question in the round: Which artist born on January 10, 1945, celebrated his 78th birthday? Rod Stewart. So Rod Stewart. It was not Rod Stewart. It was Mick Jagger. Was it? Was it? I was. I was ready to launch this for me and then you put Rush right up at Rush Mick Jagger's 80 yeah he's he's basically he's dead aye so at the end <laughs> of round one it's very close she's actually got a lot more than what I was expecting so you can delete your notes <laughs> Ryan is currently in the lead with four points and Kyle is in close second with three points up 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 I've got the Harry Styles, mm-hmm. I've got the Rolls Royce, mm-hmm. I've got three points. Three points, so you're a big cow. Okay, so topic two is sports. Oh, you're beating Kayla. So topic two is sports. This is all sporting. Every question is in 2023. I'm going to no. do that. I had this question one. Who won the 2022-23 La Liga title? And there's one bonus point here if you can tell me what points they finished the league on. I'm sure that was. Who won the 2022 23 La Liga title with one bonus point up for grabs if you can tell me how many points they won it on? Oh, sorry. And with the points, I will allow you within two. So if they won on 10 points, I'll take 8, 9, 10, 11, or 12. But I doubt they won the league on 10 points. Right, wait there, I'll just close that.
Right. Both done? That's not right, but okay. Let's go. January began with a bang as a classic World Darts Championship final saw the greatest leg of darts ever played. Who were the two finalists? That's just two points. So I'll give you a, but if you can name one but not the other, that's one point. And I, I'll accept if the name's spelt wrong. So you don't need to spell it right. I know he's fucking... January saw the greatest leg ever in the darts championship. Who were the two finalists? Say, wait there. Like I can't remember his name. I know who it is. Can't remember his name. Bob Cratchit. Bob Cratchit and John Smith. Ah, <laughs> uh, who's the hand? Five, four, three, <gasps> and two, uh, one. Oh, stop writing! <laughs> Are you going to do mastermind? Uh, I was. <laughs> I can't remember his name. Uh, right. I know it, Nutty. I fucking know it. I can't do it. Now. Right. So, question three: Who, which famous sportsman, just as a guy, came out with this memorable quote in March? They don't play for something important here. They don't want to play under pressure. This person was subsequently let go of the job. I don't actually know if the top meant if they were sacked or if they left. Which famous sportsman person yeah, said they don't play for something important here, they don't want to play under pressure. I think it's this one or the other one. Five. Four, oh, the oh, fucking oh, bus. Three, two, one. Both well, ready for question four? Yes. This one's a little bit of a heartbreaker because I miss this man very dearly. Ange Postacoglu signed off at Celtic with a Scottish Cup final victory over Inverness, Caledonian Thistle. What was unusual about Inverness's trip or route to the final game of the tournament? What was unusual about the whole competition that landed them in the final against Celtic? Quick wee side note, I was at that game and I was on the telly. You remember I put the picture in the chat? No. Go, oh, Freddy. So go to the picture? I do, yes. Luton Town returned to the English top flight for the first time since 91-92 season after a dramatic penalty shootout in the playoff final. Who did they beat in that final? Who did Luton Town beat in the final to get promoted into the English top flight? Huh? You know they've had the same one of the same players for the conference or the way up to the Premier League. Mm-hmm. Fairly rather. Mm-hmm. Uh, Good servant to the club. It's completely wrong, but we'll go with that because I just need an answer. Fucking he's googling. <laughs> no good man. Ready? Aye. Roma lost a bad tempered Europa League final to Sevilla on penalties. How did their manager, Jose Mourinho, respond? What happened after the game, after Roma were beat on penalties in the Europa League final? Or it should be renamed to the Sevilla Cup, because they always bastard and seem to win it. Right, ready? Question seven. A lot of these are about football, but most of our sport knowledge is about football. So question seven, who was the most expensive signing in the men's summer transfer window? Who was the most ex- expensive signing in the men's summer transfer window? I am going to, I've got to appear like an absolute idiot. going to ask stuff I know. Fucking hell. Yeah, look awesome. <laughs> I've put, right, yeah, I've put right down, down the day I got. <laughs> <laughs> Bobo Baldi. Was he not a free transfer anyway? Right. Oh, fuck noise. Other teams, fight teams to get rid of the players. I'll take Jermaine Defoe. <laughs> Good ball. Ready? Luke Littler is currently, currently the youngest person to have won a match at the World Darts Championship. Uh-huh. But how old is he? He's the youngest person to have won a World Darts Championship game. How old is he? Is uh, this one or the other one? Is this within a, a degree of reason? No. You need to get it oh, bang, bang on. on. If it was in a degree of reason, I will state. 
Bang on. You ready? Ready? Ah, fucking have no clue. Uh, unfortunately, Manchester City sealed a treble this year in the Champions League final against Inter. Who scored the only goal of the game? And another bonus point here, if you can tell me the minute that the goal was scored, you're within two either side. No, I'm going to go with the other one that's stuck in my head. Do you even know who plays for Mansi? No. Right, Anakin, Sean, another big... Sean Mike Phillips. We ready? Another big year lies ahead in the 2024 Olympics, and Paralympics and <laughs> Euros. But what... That was a wee fan. Is that a minus point there? Is that, is that interrupting the quiz master? Aye, aye. Oh, go and get yourself a That's a yellow card. <laughs> That's a yellow card. <laughs> right. That's a new yellow black card. We're right now. So we've got the Euros, the Olympics and the Paralympics next year. So yep. big year for events. But what weird event has been added for the first time in history to the Olympics? What event? Never been done before. I think I've seen that actually. And that's us all done for that round. So if you'd like to check, make sure you've got something written for all answers because remember, I'll take some stuff off you. Right, question one. Who won the 22 23 La Liga title? Villarreal. Villarreal have not won the league in, I think, since I've been alive. Atletico Madrid with 98 points. No, none of these are right. It was Barcelona with 88 points. Did I get points from being close to the points? No, you no. need to get the first answer right to get the bonus. Fuck you. Two, uh, January began with a bang as a classic World Darts Championship, so the fight, the greatest final leg oh. ever played. Who were the two finalists, Ryan? Was it Taylor and Peter Wright? Nope, none of them. Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> Dick Van Dyke? Yeah, I actually wrote Dick Van Dyke. Dick Van Dyke. Yeah, wrote Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> Sorry, you wrote, <laughs> you wrote Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> <laughs> Dyke Van Dyke. You know what, Kyle? I'm going to give you one point just for a oh, yeah, fucking know. Right. <laughs> right, question three. So, none of you's got that. Uh, sorry, the answer for question two was Michael Smith and Michael Van Gerwen. Gee, I was close with Van. Van Dyke. Van. Technically, I could give you well, a third day a point. Technically, I should get the points because I actually picked the Darts Right, exactly. I couldn't tell you any right. Darts players. Who came out with the member quote in March? They don't play for something important here. They don't want to play under pressure. I'll go with right, uh, Kyle first. Will Smith. Who? Will Smith. I have no clue. A, it's a, about sports. You, it, you, I know, but I don't know anyone. Right. Michael Owen. No, it was Antonio Conte. Who's uh, The ex former Antonio Chelsea Conte, manager. Former, he was at Spurs at the start of the year. He's now at. Uh, he's, I don't think he's got a job now. No, he's at Atley. Was it Atley, I'm sure. Question four. None of these will get any points this round. Ange Postacoglu signed off at Celtic with a Scottish Cup final victory over Inverness Cali Thistle. What was unusual about Cali's route to the game? They didn't play any of firm teams till the final. No, Kyle. They walked it for Inverness? No, Kyle, I'm disappointed in you. They actually shouldn't have been in the final. They were knocked out in the fourth round and reinstated. Oh, Inverness lost 2-0 to mm. Queen's Park, but their Queen's Park were kicked out the competition for fielding an ineligible player. I don't remember mm. that. Should remember that, Kyle. I forgot about the night, never mind fucking back then. Fair enough, I Same thing happened to Luton Town uh, returned to the English top flight for the first time since 91-92 after a dramatic penalty shootout. Player final win. Who did they beat, Ryan? Fucking no clue, so look, Cardiff. No, Kyle. Leicester? That is correct. Is it? No, it's Coventry say. <laughs> I was like, I'm fucking hell. That's one, one you should get. Roma lost a bad tempered Euro Europa League final to Sevilla on penalties. How did their manager, Jose Mourinho, react? Kyle? Shouted at his players. You were so close with that one. So close. Ryan? Was that another one that's no one to know? When he says, if I speak, I'm in trouble. No, that was when he was at Man United. Mm. Uh, he went up to the referee, Anthony Taylor, after the game and had an argument with him. So Kyle was so close we confronted Can confront I get half a point because I'm probably no. not going to get any points here. No. You got one? Big man, <laughs> Dyke. <laughs> right. On, big man, question Dyke. seven. I thought these questions were the easiest to do what? Fucking hell. Uh, who was the most expensive signing in the main summer transfer window, Ryan? 
Who did you write? Messi. Messi went a free transfer. He was a free was transfer. It, was it Bellingham? No, it was Moises Caicedo. Oh, fuck. Who's he? Who are these he folk? for Brighton to Chelsea he's, for 80 he's, million. He's shit. It? He's horrible now. And look at Chelsea. Right, Luke Littler is currently the youngest person to have won a match in the WDF World Dutch Championship. How old is he, Ryan? So you know, 17. Kyle? I put 18. No, he's 16. 16? That's the one I was going to go with. That's why I, when I wrote it, I asked about a degree. I, think. I thought Darts the only training pub, so I says I wait till mm-hmm. 18. Because right, so I put 17. <laughs> he's 16. Ryan's thinking of all the memes that are going viral the route in between us. Well, it's the guy at the garage, mm-hmm. 17. Right. Oh, right. So this next question is about Man City in the final. I will take both answer and bonus answer at the same time uh, from you. So who scored Manchester City's only goal in the Champions League final to secure the treble? Kyle Guerrero. He's not. He's not. He's, he's not been. He's, he's not been at the club for years. So he's we'll right. take what minute? Right. Is it Rodri in the sixty-eighth minute? It was Rodri, and it was on the sixty-eighth minute. Was it actually? It was on the sixty. You're fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Cheating. That's that's a fucking meltdown. Uh, uh, question 10 which big event <laughs> <laughs> which big event was added to the Olympics and Paralympics um, to make its debut Ryan skateboarding no that's been that was last year like I had Kyle okay. yeah, I think shitting shitting <laughs> <laughs> I, I could give a point for this is breakdancing eh it's breakdancing. Breakdancing is an Olympic. Me. No, breakdancing is now an Olympic How sport. Then? Fuck's sake, man. I right. could run that then. So the scores at the end of that round are Ryan and five points and Kyle and three. Because you're getting eight points there because all the fucking answers. I pick. thought the questions were quite good. No, they weren't. Mate, you wrote fucking Dyke Van Dyke. You wrote Aguero, who's not been at the club for two years. I don't a, know. He's been retired. He's been retired. Right, he, 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 he went to Barcelona and had a bloody heart attack, mind. And, and had to retire. That's was that him? Aye, because he had a heart attack because he was playing for Barcelona. I thought that was that boy that was Danish, Danish that also played with mm-hmm. Tottenham. That also happened. Right, topic three of five. This is transfers i've got five different players here i'm going to read out their career path Ooh, and you're going to tell yeah. me what players they are i like this i like this i like this i thought that was a good Wait, whoa, whoa. so i'm going to tell you a player where they started off their career tell you what moves they made and you're going to tell me the player hey so <laughs> player one deep van Dijk. player one they started at coventry city right they went on loan to norwich mm-hmm Back to Coventry, mm-hmm. back to Norwich on loan, then went to Aberdeen, then went to Leicester, then recently went to Tottenham. And all these players have transferred this year. So I'll read that again. Coventry, yep. Norwich. I got that for Aberdeen. Aberdeen, Leicester and that. Tottenham. Declan that. got that from Aberdeen. I'm going to get a- Nicola, who tried to? Yeah, Nicola. Do me a favour, see that massive silver cup? Bring that over. On a side note, I filled this up about five o'clock after work. Drank my stuff, went to sleep, woke up, went to work, came home the next day, and there's still ice in this. I've got the same, I've got a hydroplast, and it's the best thing ever. Right, we're already. You've both wrote your player. Dyke. Dyke Van Dyke. Dyke Van Dyke. I don't know. I always make a guess, Kyle. Remember, if you don't make a guess, you're going to point eight and a half. Means two, you say. Is this his first question, eh? Aye. Yep, first of five. Dyke Van Dyke. You got something? Second player. Dolph Longham. Second player has started his career at Celtic. Right. Then went to Arsenal. Then this year went to Real Sociedad. Oh, I know this one. Celtic, Arsenal, and then Real Sociedad. The Van der Snow. He spent five years at Celtic, four years at Arsenal, and he's just spent the start the most of this year at Real Sociedad. He's ready? Mm-hmm. Question three, or player three, started off at Santos, then went to Barcelona, Paris Saint-Germain, and then this year went to Al-Halal. 
This is where you get left in the dust. All <laughs> Ryan's gone five for five. I, I would like to. Let's see if I can get them all. Don't worry, it's a, one or two of them are. The next two are, are more on the difficult side. I've made it to lure you in with a false sense of security. I play all this on TikTok at the same time. That's a good idea. Play. So you've got Santos, Barcelona, PSG, and then Al Halal. Fourth player started off at Arsenal, then went to South End United, then Colchester, then Dundee FC, and then Rangers. And at the start of the year, oh. transferred to Leeds United. Mm-hmm. So I tried to get a player who's played for both Celtic and Rangers, so I was being included in there. So Arsenal, South End, Colchester, Dundee, Rangers, and then Leeds United. Only recently left, remember all these yep. the last transfers are just recently. Yep. Oh, what's his and a, name? And a, and a wee hint for this one, Kyle, and you don't need to spell it right. I'll okay. ask you that one first, and if you can explain them, I'll write my name point because you're behind. He's, he's made 17 appearances for Leeds and scored zero goals and made zero assists. This guy? Oh, for what? Is that meant he'd give me a horn there? Aye, he was shite at Rangers. Good. Until the last season. Yeah. Never done anything against us. Phoned it in last season. Somewhere a few other players. Mm-hmm. Right, Kyle, give you five seconds. 5.5 <laughs> million, I'm sure, wasn't it? Right. Might have got that. Might right. Know. This one is the most difficult one. So you just need to get your thinking caps on. Dynamo Zagreb Aye. to RB Leipzig and then moved at the start of the year to Manchester City. Right. Stop saying I. Dynamo Zagreb, RB Leipzig <laughs> and Manchester City. What man? You don't need to spell this one. Sorry, right. I can't even fucking get the right uh, letters. Don't know about the first name but the second name. Half former players, man. Seven and a half left back. Was that a hand? I know. Ah, he's definitely got the right. You know what? Just give me the name because I wouldn't fucking get it. He's definitely got the right player. Mm -hmm. He's only seen one left centre back at the transfer window. Because he was also he was always a left side at centre half that signed and fit a manager on people. Really good. Really good player. I think they've they've got a player on their Mm -hmm. hands if they do, and it's it's, it's a good price to go for. A lot better than Aki. Oh, I like Aki though. But Good he player, but he's a lot better. So we've got Dino was Greg, RB Leipzig, and Manchester City. So we'll go right back to the beginning. Big man, big. And I have prepared one tie break question at the very end, but I doubt that's going to be needed. Sorry, Ryan. That was my It's the first player. I ask you, I'm first. And Coventry I'm... City, Norwich, Aberdeen, Leicester, Tottenham. If you'd move between those same clubs, loan, but that's the main Coventry? Move. Yep, start at Coventry. This is the same as your Norwich, first answer. Aberdeen, Leicester, and Tottenham. What do you mean first answer? So I'm going back, I'm, I'm wanting your answer for the first person now. I put Mulgrew. Charlie Mulgrew's now signed for Tottenham. <laughs> I, I don't know anyway. James Madison. That is James Madison, well done, Ryan. When I got that? It was the Aberdeen one. Okay, that's the next one. You better. You better get the next two, let's see. Next one is Celtic Arsenal. We also said that. Kyle. Tierney. 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 Ryan. Tierney, Tierney. Well done. <laughs> Question three. This player started off at Santos, Barcelona, PSG, and then Al Hilal. Kyle. I put Jota. No, Ryan. The same person that left Barcelona because they didn't know how to play in the same team as Messi, went to PSG, <coughs> playing in the same team as Messi. Neymar. Neymar Jr. Mm-hmm. I get that now because you've explained it. I wouldn't have got that. The fourth player. More on the difficult side. Arsenal, South End, Colchester, Dundee, Rangers, and then Leeds. Kyle. Kent. Yeah. No. Ryan. Glenn Kamara. It is Glenn Kamara. Wouldn't have got that. He's up. I don't know if this is his first name, but you got to take it for the second name. I'll take if it's any of us. food? Aye. I might order food. Aye. I'll order food after this round. And we'll might. wave at the camera so we can. Come. Have you not ordered? No. I think you are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, last player, Dynamo Zagreb, RB Leipzig, Manchester City. Kyle? I didn't get that. Ryan? Do you need to put somebody in? I put hash. That's a minus point, baby. That is a minus point. You can go fuck yourself, uh, no one is, it, you know it. Is his first name Joseph Bardio? Mm, I'll accept that as Josco Bardio. Josco. Well, 
No, I I just, it. just take sides, eh? What's the tiebreaker question? Just a curiosity. <laughs> I can tell you that. <laughs> just, oh, I know what. Uh, it's to do with Scotland and the Euros. Oh, right. No, I thought it was going to be the right. same thing. Question. Aye, just at least give me that point. Aye. You, you know what? what? I'll, 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 I'll ask you that at the end, just to make up some points. You want them? What was he on the note? Uh, the score, oh, sorry, the current scores is 8-4 to Ryan. 8 Oh, aye, I get Kent. Cheating bastard. What do you mean you get Kent, right? You get Tierney. Aye, Tierney, Tierney. Aye, that's what I meant. Right, question, topic four is about us. So you, I, I expect you to get every single one of these questions right. Oh, I'm not going to get Is this four right. or five? What do you mean? As in topic four out of five? Two, four out of five, yes. You're just cracking them with all hands. I didn't get food afterwards. <laughs> so, question number one. Which artist was a reoccurring joke for us when we were having a drink this year? What do you mean artist? What, singer? Singer. Which singer was a reoccurring joke for us when we were having a drink this year? When she's right in the answer, tell me and I'll give you the clue and you'll pick yourself. I have no clue. Go for it. Got the clue? The subway. Ah, oh, shit. Where did you put it? Ah, I put somebody else. I was thinking... Did you get it right, Yank? Don't, don't, don't tell me the answer. You, right. you said the subway. Ah, the subway. Ah, I've got Wait, it. That's all I'm Where's telling you. Wait, shut up, Kyle. Okay. Let's go. Oh! I'm going right underneath it. Dave. No! <laughs> How? How did you not get that? Ah, I don't what? know. Can, can we... No, no. no. Right, question. I think me and you is going to have the same answer. I'll put an yes. X next to that one, right? Question two. After a poor show from the stag at a stag do earlier on this year, we'll not mention which stag do. Us three, accompanied by Blair, attended a bar in Edinburgh. What two hilarious things happened at said bar? <laughs> After a poor show from the stag at a stag do earlier on the year, door. us three, yeah. accompanied by Blair, Tended a bar in Edinburgh, what two hilarious things occurred. Extra wee bit of trivia for you on the dance floor. I put dot dot dots. So dance floor? <coughs> Is that on the dance floor? I wasn't on the dance floor. No, me and you stood at the side of the dance floor, but we didn't actually dance. Oh, well, you could also put, I'm going to put a wee extra thing. Mm -hmm. I'll put, I'll put two bits, dot dot dots, <coughs> and then I'm getting a wee bit extra time. And a wee bit of Bonus point for you is there. It's not in the quiz, but I'll ask, ask it now. Um, why was I so grumpy at said pub? Mm -hmm. What did I have to do to get to that pub? Oh, well. I'll really saw you if you were no, allowed. No, you can just answer me. I'll you if you were allowed. No, it's because you had to walk all the way back to... Sorry, Zoe. You had to walk all the way back to a pub to then walk all the way back to this pub going for like to here, to here, to here. I don't know <coughs> I'd right. probably get these wrong already. Right. Question three. On that same stag do, in the first leg, I ate nothing but Greg's scotch pies for the mm -hmm. whole of the first day. How many pies did I eat? The bonus point for how many of them were warm. How many pies did I eat in one day? How many were warm? Right, I think I've got this wrong. Think about it. It was a sub crawl. There was 12 pubs. Right. How many pies did I eat and how many were warm? two points up for grabs in that one question four okay we should get this which popular band did kyle controversially state were shite and that the faces are bare ha! <laughs> <laughs> a lot of bands he thinks his musical choices are very good i'll accept band. two different <laughs> answers there is only one correct answer That's but i'll accept two this is this one's important to me yeah. question five is very important to me nice. Mm -hmm. Very important. You need to get a time limit on him. He's tight enough to I'm watching the next. Watch. Aye, watch. Calm down, Dyke. Right. Question five. There is only six questions in this topic, by the way. Question five. Aye, Aye question five. <laughs> what age did I turn this year? <laughs> June 19th, my birthday. What age did I turn? <laughs> 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 you know yeah, this is, this is a difficult one. <laughs> the last question on this topic. Me and Zoya recently rescued a dog called Leia. Mm -hmm. From which country is Leia from? Not bad. That's just fucking fell off itself. Did it spell? I'm on the floor. Hey, wonder, did you see that we had a sat? It's like the. 
Was he sitting that on that buffet itself? We had it like that, It was sat normal, it was sat up. Right, crack on with this and I'll get that. Right, back. so back to us, the answers mid. For this section. Mid, get mid. GK. <laughs> right, <laughs> sorry. Which artist was a recurring joke for us having a drink this year? What was your initial I'd answer, Kyle? Tina, I don't know. I'd put Kasabian because we had a good laugh about it, but then when you say he's fucking. Marty Bello! Marty Bello, that's what that's And a five pound roast! And a five roast! That was a really poor show for yours, that question. I knew he didn't even that one. So disappointing. No, the, the it's just feel itself. Oh, you just seen the way you had a sat. I sat in on It was sat like that. No <laughs> background <laughs> noise in here. Right. right, after a poor show from the stag do earlier on this year, us three accompanied by Blair attended a bar in Edinburgh. What two hilarious things happened on the dance floor? Two points up for grabs. Kyle? You I said, Gary uh, uh, cover that uh, ran away, then picture of him on train floor. That didn't happen on the, dance, happen on the dance floor, Kyle. Both wrong. Um, Ryan. Right, so I'll give you two different ones. I've also got a bonus question. There was one where the guy fell looking down the stairs. Yeah, uh, uh, the, the correct answer for that one. Why is that not emo place? Yeah. Uh, man fell on stairs and spilled three pints down himself. And that's when Ryan I Ryan proceeded to stand on top of him and say, that cunt just fell. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Remember right. that now. Right. The second one I had was we were all snoring. Oh, wait, 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 I need to yeah, add you a wee point there. We were all snoring and the guys just started to go, Oh, and Kyle was like, "Is that right, though? Is that what I've got on?" Guys screaming, "Are you talking about when with the guy through the pipe?" Oh, but that started. The second correct answer is goth cunt screaming in the centre of a mosh pit. That's technically right. That is right. I also put a wee bonus point for you. Mm-hmm. It was also a woman that was thinking of you. Yes, she was. Was it? Aye. Yes, she was. I don't know if that was uh, somebody that we were meant to be pals with, or I don't know. No idea. Let's cut that wee bit out and carry on in a second. Or oh, he's this is not this guy, Dyke Van Dyke. And <laughs> Dyke Van Dyke, we see the guy that right. was just mentioned. We'll just uh, carry on with this. I just uh, edit there's that a wee hole and you're digging down. Uh, edit that bit. Right, um, on this same stag too, I ate nothing but Greg's scotch pies for the first day. How many pies did I eat and how many were one? Five pies, two warm. I went five pies, one warm. So Kyle gets a point for that because two were warm. Ah! But I ate eight, eight pies. Fat eight bastard. Four Sorry. different pubs. Two pies. Fifty-two. <laughs> <laughs> <each pub. laughs> no, two were warm, and they were both at the same Greg's, and I nearly died because I was at, I was at the end of the night and I expected cold pies, and I bought an extra straight away and bought them. Well, I've only wrote two for this next one, but there is a third one. Which popular band did Kyle controversially state were shite and that the faces were better? Ryan. Oasis. Nope, nope. Oh, the Rolling Stones! It was indeed the Rolling Stones. He's calling it back! He also said Kasabian, my straight answer was Muse as well. Uh, the other answer I would accept was Muse. Mm. So mm. you have not wrote I don't know that I wrote. Um, I'll ask Kyle this next one first. Kyle, what age did, did I turn this year? 23? No, right. I'm 24. I turned 24. 25 next year. That's poor for you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a one. Last question this round. Me and Zoe have recently rescued a dog called Leah. What country is they from? Romania and Gypsy. These are both correct. Did I get so, a bonus point for saying Gypsy? No, you get a minus point no, for that. No, you don't. Did you take a point now for him missing a question at all? Well? Aye. I didn't. Don't, don't pipe up. Don't worry. Sal, Sal, Sal. It's a second. Right, so we've got Ryan's currently on 12 points and Kyle is on 7. So you're hoping... That in this next special subject one, Ryan gets none of them right, then you need to get all of them right. Oh. If Ryan so much as gets one right, he's won. But the tie break question is worth double points. So if you can oh. make it what? one or two points behind, then you can you can draw and win. But I've not got a tie break, tie break question. <laughs> <laughs> Just Google I'll, that I'll later need to make on. Up on so Ryan, would you like to go first or second since you're in the lead? Winners go first. Whoever goes, uh, who scores goals in football. No, that's opposite team. Let's go for it. Go for it. So, Ryan's five special subject questions are on WWE. Do I answer this or not? No. You, what, you can no. answer it for a bit of Yeah, you fun. can answer it for a bit of laugh. Or do something. Wouldn't fucking get any. Right, Ryan. Who won the very first Royal Rumble? 
You just say it right back to me. Don't need to write it down. You just say it right back to jump me. Right. Okay. The very first Royal Rumble. Ah, uh, what's his name again? I know the exact guy. It's a big guy. I'm 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 gonna uh, pipe he's up. Caught up with the uh, I'm gonna pipe up, man. Uh, I think five, four, three, two, one, zero. Big Paul. Nope, it was Hacksaw Hacks Jim Duggan. Duggan. I was going to go for Mark Henry. Right. So this next question has got two different answers. I will accept both. Which superstar holds the record for the most world championships? You got to say. I it's of all time, it's, it's a five. Is it WWE? Because if it's WWE, it's John Cena. If it's all, it could be Ric Flair. I'll give you a point for that. It's John Cena slash Ric Flair. Mm. That's the answer. I can show off. Question three Who has the most total WrestleMania wins? Who holds the most WrestleMania wins? Surely needs to be the Undertaker. Final answer? Aye. It's the Undertaker. Okay, well, I think you're, you're slipping behind here, sir. Oh, indeed. Question five. Who ended The Undertaker's WrestleMania streak? Brock Lesnar. And that's five rounds on 15. So, okay, there's no chance you're catching up. But, question five. General was, knowledge wasn't that general, I would got to say. Uh, here, you've both done well in general knowledge. It was the sports one that, that done this. Absolutely. What was Stone Cold Steve Austin's original ring name? Are you talking about stunning Steve Austin in WCW? Or are you talking about the ringmaster in WWE? Very fast. Stunning Steve Austin. Correct. <clears throat> so, Ryan's, would Kyle still get five questions to answer? Ryan gets 16 and you're on seven. No, what? Fuck it, these questions are worth triple points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Come on now. Come on now. Right. Kyle's special, special subject is Rod Stewart. How many. Sexual misconduct orders have been filed against <laughs> 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 I'm good um, on. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be fucking thousands. I'm about <laughs> Right, question one. What was Rod Stewart's first number one album called? Every picture tells a story. And that is correct. Well 1971. That is 1971. Well done. Right, so... Half a I forgot to say, see if you got all five questions right, you got one extra point. Not that it matters, but you get an extra point. Question two, what was Stuart's first number one single in the UK? UK was Maggie May, well 1971. Done. Well done, well done, that was quite <laughs> impressive. But what? wasn't a number one in America? Nope, never only the America. Album, only the album was number one. Yep. I know, is it <laughs> and only well, because... Right, on you go, sorry. What track is Stuart's best-selling single in the UK? What? Say that again. Which track, so individual song, is Stuart's best-selling single in the UK? Sailing. It is sailing. Oh! Right, <laughs> question four. How many children has famous ladies' man Rod Stewart had by five different maws? Eight. Eight is correct. That's very impressive, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kyle. You've you've actually come out here, right? Which song has the lyrics? We got but one shot at life. Let's take it while you're still not afraid, because life is so brief and time is a thief when you're undecided. Oh, you fucking hurt my ear. <laughs> Do you know this one? Oh, it it. It's my favourite Roger Stewart song. Young Turk. Ah, oh, that's, that's what I was going to say. You shouldn't have said that. So, I was, with, with I actually got that myself. With the bonus point here, Ryan is on 16. Kyle, very impressively, has made it up to 13. Oh! I'm I'm that's some, actually... That's you're somewhere, aren't you? You're so, me, right? 16. So, huh? I'll give you the, the, the tie-break press question to bring right, it to right. 16, 15. You still win regardless. That's fine. It right. gives Kyle a chance. That's like, a bit more respect, but you don't mail it fucking end there. I know. Very, very well done. At the time I made these questions, so yesterday, what are the current odds for Scotland to win the Euros? <sighs> and I've got a screenshot of it just in case she's annoyed me. Mm -hmm. 932. That's something less than I thought, actually. Yep, it's oh, is that, my, my numbers are way out then. What did you say? 932. It is 100 to 1. Uh, that's that's we, we've got better odds than uh, Poland. 
Um, there's a few other big countries in there that have actually got better odds in. We'll get the same odds as Portugal. I might put a bet on for Scotland to actually qualify to the last 16. I've got that on there. Mm. What's your odds? About 16 to 1. It's worth a punt. So, at the end of that quiz, I, I think how your tiebreaker wasn't even about Rod Stewart. Not the tiebreaker, the bonus point. Why would I need to ask about Rod Stewart? That is fucking shite, that. I enjoyed that wee quiz. Thanks for taking part. <laughs> ah, that was nice. Especially the end bit, because I, I knew everyone there. That was you know, great. see with the, the, the lyrics bit, I was going through the rhythms in my right? head. I was going, like, I don't know. And do you think I'm sexy? I'm going, mm, I don't know. It's not that one. And then I was going, Maggie, Maggie Mayer, something. I kept going. <laughs> I still think that was very impressive. So, I owe Ryan four cans or bottles of whatever beer he chooses. Yes, that was nice. And that's all the time we have for. Thank you very much for joining the podcast. Well. <laughs> uh. Please uh, join in in the comments below. Uh, and don't cheat, but just type them. Do you see any comments below? If you played along at home, tell us how many questions you got right and That's what I said. Ah, but you say it's an absolute tit. And um if there's anybody out there called Dyke Van Dyke, please, please, please hit us up. Goodbye. <laughs>